Kia ora koutou and welcome to the Vista Foundation 48 Hours Lockdown Film Competition Finals Show. I'm Madeline Sami, I'm a filmmaker, I've been in a 48 hour film, I was on a boat under the Harbour Bridge for hours, I think I fell asleep. Now, the Vista Foundation 48 Hours is Aotearoa's longest running and greatest film challenge. For 17 years, teams of filmmakers around the country have been competing annually to create the best film in 48 hours. Past winners have included Taika, who doesn't even have a last name anymore, he's just like Madonna. Until this year, when COVID-19 forced us to postpone the event. With the whole country locked at home, we thought, what better thing to do than run a special lockdown challenge? So we did. A couple of weeks ago, sometime in April, I don't know, that, that whole month is a blur, over 2,000 teams of filmmakers got together with their bubble and made a film. Here's how it worked. In April, over 2,000 teams had just one weekend to make a film without leaving their bubble. The Vista Foundation 48 Hours Lockdown. This was the toughest, most brutal 48 hours yet. Bubble filmmaking, it's more fun than a pillow fight with your parents. New Zealand's largest and greatest film competition has rules. Films could be no longer than three minutes. Films had to include a photograph, an echo, and an arc shot in one of six genres. Adventure, horror, whodunit, science fiction, urban fantasy, or the unwanted guest. And check out the industry heavyweight judges on board. Peter Jackson, Edgar Wright, Alan Wong, Elijah Wood, Cliff Curtis, and loads more famous people. Who will be our finalists and who will pocket the thousands of cash and prize money? I know what a couple of you couch potatoes are saying back there. You're saying it sounds easy, but it's actually not. Making a film is really difficult. Good films take years. They have lots of skilled people, actors, crew, special effects, catering, special catering. These teams had their house, maybe their phone, possibly only their kids or parents as actors. The VF 48 Hours Lockdown had 2,118 teams enter. Here are some of those teams and posters for the films they made. Included pros at home with a full cinema kit in their bubble, Shortland Street stars, families just doing it with their kids on iPads, and even a couple who was supposed to be getting married that weekend. Now, not everyone made it. Adam had a baby instead of finishing his film, which is quite an achievement in itself. Other teams had technology or ideas fail as the weekend ran its course, but to the 1,200 free teams who did get their film in on time, congratulations, mates. You made a movie. So, folks, Fano, tonight is where we find out who won. You will see the top 10 films from over 2,000 entrants around the country. Now, teams don't know who is in, so you'll all be on the edge of your seats. And all the prize winners get cash with the top film walking away with a sweet 5K. So let's start the night with some heart and the best family team. We are all now preparing as a nation to go into self-isolation. To be absolutely clear, we are now asking all New Zealanders to stay at home. I hope that you are all with me on that decision. To be successful though, these measures will need to be in place for four weeks. Be in place for four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. Mm. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Mummy. I think it's time you went outside. You've been inside all day. But I'm so bored. Yeah, awesome. Then you go outside. Have an adventure. Fine. Hello. 
Those are taking no approach. What will happen next? That's the lion! <laughs> your day today? Find anything interesting to do? Just the usual. Excellent. We also had some amazing judges this year. Industry heavyweights from New Zealand and around the world selected the finalists and the winner. They have a few things they wanted to say. Uh, kia ora everybody, I'm Jennifer Ward-Leland and I've had the pleasure of being one of the judges for the VF 48 Hours Lockdown. And man, I have been blown away by, by your films, your talent, your creativity, your ingenuity. You know, this competition already comes with challenges, but you add into that all the constraints of a lockdown. What you've, you know, everything you've had to encompass with that, what you've achieved is just so impressive. Uh, so to all of you, uh, and especially to those who, who reached the finalist, uh, a huge congratulations and uh, kia kaha, and keep on making films. You are bloody brilliant. Big shout out to everybody, all your efforts, working so hard uh, in isolation. Uh, just congratulations to everybody. What a huge success. I loved it. Kia kaha, kia mai, kia manawa nui. Uh, now, before we reveal the top films, a big shout out to all the teams who entered and made the VF 48 Hours Lockdown Film Competition something really positive to remember during this crazy time. Okay, are you ready, folks? Here are our top 10 films in no apparent order. Thank <laughs> you. 
So tell me, why are some plants better at math than others? Square roots. Square roots, you get it? Still giving me the silent treatment, huh? It's okay. I can wait. Hmm. Did you know what's the jury's verdict on the hamburger? Nothing is true. Grilled as chart. <laughs> well, a classic. Grilled as chart. If you can hear me, say something. Taste pickle. Yes, pickle. My favorite. You are chef. No, no, I'm a doctor. Doctor, you eat me. No, I'm not going to eat you. I'm going to be your friend. You look fine. I'm rotting. I'm dying. I can preserve you. Doctor, why me? I made you to be my friend. You are my friend. Not friend. Food. Food. No, you're more than that. You're more than just food to me. Doctor, it's time. No. Eat me. I'm ready. Eat me. 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 and you play Urban Fantasy 7 Remake all day. All day! What would you rather do? Be in the kitchen? Oh. What do you want from me? Oh, I don't know. How about a little attention? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ah. Ah. What did you do? Fancy call You know how much I... Reptiacorpus. Not Reptiacorpus. What is Reptiacorpus? Obviously.
Me wemius wemiscus. No more fighting. Oh, you must be hungry. What was it? Mealy, mealyus? Mealwormius wemiscus. We need you to clarify the events that led to Uncle Ben's death. We? Who's we? You're just one person. Are there people watching me behind the mirror? Can we please hurry this up? The funeral was... April 2025. A virtual funeral. A Zoom funeral. My family is under a lot of stress. In this ongoing quarantine, my Uncle Ben's mansion with a vast garden and the three swimming pools is something that everybody wants. But he leaves it to me, his favorite nephew. Which gives you motive. And to my wife. And the family was so upset with her because she used a photo of the deceased. It, well, actually, there was a screenshot of her last video call with uh, her. Ah, yes, right. I have that in my notes. So, cause of death for Uncle Ben is ECOVID-25. When we all got our fingers chipped, viruses started mutating into an e-form, affecting both organic flesh and microchips. ECOVID-25 first attacks your voice box, adding a reverb to everything you say. And that's how you can distinguish it. So, whoever gave your Uncle Ben the virus is the killer? And what about that glitch at the funeral? Yeah. <laughs> you should say a few things about Uncle Ben, Ben. <laughs> I loved it when he made his rise. It's a glitch, he's infected. Everybody look off! Well, the latency in my voice indicated a virus, which would look suspicious. Because you killed your uncle. No! I, I have the E-COVID, which is a totally different virus from the one that killed my uncle. E-COVID. Now, I'm getting extremely confused. Now you're implying your wife did it. Well, if you look at the screenshot, you can clearly see that she was not wearing a fingerchip protector. Yeah, but why would she use a photo incriminating herself at the funeral? Well, exactly. That's her story. So, you did it? No. You did it. Well, I'm the wife. Well, I, I thought you were the wife. Oh, no, no, no. Joy should totally play the wife if we go with this story. Oh, come on. This is brilliant. You are crazy. There is no way that we can fit all this into to three minutes. Three minutes. Fuck this, man. It's called the 48-hour project, not the three-minute project. It's just the way it is. It's in the rule book. Uh, who did it? Did what? The rule book. Well, he did. Of course he did. Three minute movies is a great way of telling a story. I mean, who would want to watch a five minute movie? Do you like it? I don't think I like it either. What in your own? 
think I suited it. Ah, I tell you, full full all over all over. Thanks. Well, it's porridge today, so I'll try to eat all of it, please. Touch this. So I got my No, why? I don't think it's one meal. What? No, you can't. No, it's a simple Anything else I can get you? Well, you all the Wi Fi. I can't fix that. It's as close as I can get it from the house. Yeah, if I was at a mate. What the house? I might have to have oil also. I'll see if I can find one of her. You see me every day. I tell the lady to watch her. Guess what? Mm. I found your photo and I finally found those fresh ingredients. No metal taste, I promise. If I tell me you're up to I'll read tonight. I have work. Fine, but only if you eat. Salamo los pulu matulu. Ole ali is olo ole leo. G'day, uh, I'm Strip Johnson, I'm 32 years old and, uh, well, I suffer from a rare condition called brachydactyly type E disorder, which, uh, you know, in basic terms means I got tiny hands. It affects a small percentage of people around the world. Um, I have one of the worst conditions with uh, total hand miniaturization. Fix me on a daily basis somewhat, I guess. Um, but I grew up like every other kid, you know? I had a family, we did everything together, and I wasn't treated any differently. Yeah, I mean, I mean in terms of my like, confidence, I'd say that I'm, I'm really confident, you know? Some would say cocky, but uh, may have small hands, but <laughs> ladies would tell you that I certainly don't uh, have any issues anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, but like, if I, really think about it, I, I, probably, I wouldn't mind having normal sized hands and which is actually why I've been on a bit of a journey kind of the last couple of years trying to find something to fix these. And earlier today another magic star crystal has been found in New Zealand granting Simon Anderson his very own magic wish. This is the fifth star. That's actually why I bought this house because I found out that there were crystals found here before on this site. I've spent the last two years scouring the entire property, trying to find one. Honestly believe that I'm gonna find it today. I, 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 day 65 today, or today's day 86, and I'm day 128 today. Hi guys. Hey guys, hey guys, it's, uh, it's, uh, day, it's day, uh, day uh, oh, one, two, two, it's. Hi, hi guys, it's uh, day 527. Let's find that crystal. <laughs> I found it. I found the star crystal. I, I, I wish for, for, big, for big hands, normal hands. I wish for world peace and new shoes. And I suppose I could be a little less cocky. Ah, ah, ah! Something's off. What did I wish for? 
Big hands. World peace. New shoes and... I wish I wasn't so cocky. Oh my god! Okay, framing's good, focus, good. Do they still have a dog filter? All right, <laughs> now for the final touch. <laughs> Fucking piece of crap. Oh. I got snake arms, Pippa. My bloody arms are snakes. Oh, it's piece of, piece of equipment. Bloody hell, Pippa, put it back how it was. Bloody thing. I swear, technology hates me. Oh god, they're biting me! Look, look! Call Brandon, will you? He'll sort this shit out. No, no, I'm not calling Brandon. I can fix this. He always gets so snippy whenever we call him about technology. Just, just let me try this. Call <laughs> Brandon. Uh, hello? Hi, sweetie. Mum, I, I can hear you, but I can't see you or perceive your sensations. Can you uh, turn your bandwidth up? Oh, never mind that. I need your help with the gene matrix. Your father's got a spider for a face. His face is a spider. Can you come help me, please? <sighs> if this was C++ or Java, I'd, I'd have it. We'd be away laughing. Can't you just do it for me? You're going to have to learn how to do these things yourself, Mum. Collapse that wave function there. Ah, that's a boson, not a fermion. <laughs> oh, you type of ten fingers. Millennials. I've had a bloody gut fell off your attitude, boy. Your mother and I didn't grow up with this technology, you know. When we were your age, there was only 150 Pokemon. Or 151. Y you know? Will you just do this one small kindness for the people who birthed and raised you? <sighs> what were you guys trying to do anyway? <laughs> I thought of this really funny meme. I wanted to take a photo of your father as a horse and then send it to Auntie Kate. She loves that sort of stuff. A picture? Well, you can just get an AI to synthesize these things. You don't have to actually turn Dad into a horse, you know. This is so yeet. Oh, thanks, Poppet. Are you going to stay for a cup of tea? I'm beyond tea now, Mother. What you see before you is merely a form I thought you would be more comfortable with. Farewell. 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 Aww. I'll wash this for him. I've been looking for that. Uh, hey, he was playing with that. Well, the party's over and this has to go back to fairyland. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. We're going to go back to fairyland. <laughs> I am not paid enough for this shit.
are you doing back there? We're gonna go to Fairyland with you. Uh, Fairyland is closed. <laughs> There's an evil witch and she doesn't want children coming in anymore. And right now, I have to find your fucking parents. Don't, Don't tell your parents I said fuck. There's two fucking kids in my... Baby, don't hold me. I'll the fell and... Okay, I'm gonna send you a photo. Excuse me, Sarah. Excuse me. Yes? Can we go to Fairyland now? No, there's no fucking Fairyland. We're gonna sit here, safe and silent, and we're gonna wait for your mummy and daddy to arrive. Can we pay with your penis? What? No, 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 no. Look, we're going to not talk about bad words, bad driving, or anything about this whole adventure, okay? We're just gonna keep it a secret, okay? Okay. Only if you guess to fucking fairyland. To my channel today I'm going to be road testing a new recipe for Thai green curry and I thought I'd take you along with me I'm going to be looking at this recipe from thairespects.com oh, um, incense down oh sweet my dad is down too that'll do <laughs> anything no what are we going to do maybe we could vlog like what you do <laughs> <laughs> you don't have internet and then just upload it when it comes back on just because I can't remove the recipe at all. Oh good. Okay, cool. Mm. How many of these have we actually read? Not many. Should I just, I'll just reread a classic that I've read before. <gasps> Jesus. Have you read a book recently? It's fucking hard. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And when can you get your guys to come out? Tomorrow. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 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 fifteen. Rosie? Are you alright? That house with the blue roof. I saw one of them in the window. They were happy. They have Wi-Fi. Rosie! Rosie! What are you doing? Uh. Oh, Rosie! What are you doing? I, I can't quite get close enough. If I just make an antenna, no, you, then I can get the Wi Fi. You don't understand. You don't understand. Rosie? Rosie? Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god, what is that? Oh god. What are all these? I got Wi Fi! Somebody come in! Seth, what are you watching? Good evening. We're all familiar with the expression to see and be seen. But in a land where you literally can't be seen, what would being seen actually mean? Police say that the man in question is dangerous and should not be approached if spotted. And if spotted, well, that's scary enough as it is, because this man is completely and utterly visible. Did you hear that, boss? 
They said he's completely and utterly visible. Turn that garbage off. We got work to do. There's no such thing as a visible man. It's impossible. Yeah, well, if he tries anything, you gotta watch out for this. Now I'll shoot him right in this perfectly perceptible body. <laughs> sure, sure. Now let's get down to business. These are the photographs of our next target. Nah, look at that stupid fake mustache. Like that'll fool anybody. <laughs> I know. The guy's a rube. Anyway, we gotta meet him at 3 o'clock tomorrow. And, uh... Take care of the situation, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I know what you mean. <laughs> what was that? Maybe it was something uh, visible. Come on. It was just the wind, that's all. I'm going to the little boy's room. You study them photos. That feels better. I drank a lot of tea today. What the hell? Huh? 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 You know it's courtesy to flush. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Got me seeing things with that a whole visible man. Ah! that one coming, did they? <laughs> Until next time, gentle viewer. Good night. Wowie, what a bunch of incredibly talented people. It is amazing what can be achieved in a single weekend in lockdown in New Zealand when you're at home with your family and you want to win some sweet kachingas. It's now awards time, but we're not going to announce the winner just yet. First up, we have Best Solo Slash Duo. And the award goes to... Now this competition was founded by Ant Timpson. His award is the best incredibly strange film and there are a lot of those. Here is the winner of the Ant Timpson Incredibly Strange Award. <laughs> the award goes to... Nice pickle. Yes, pickle. My favourite. You are chef. No, no, I'm a doctor. The next award is the Best Use of Genre Award. Now this award is for the team who made the best use of the genre assigned to them. <laughs> and the award goes to... Oh. All you do is you sit there and you play Urban Fantasy 7 Remake all day. All day! What would you rather do? Be in the kitchen! Oh. Now this next award is the Best Use of an Element Award. This award is for the team who made the best use of one of the elements assigned to them. <laughs> the award goes to... Down the oh my god, boys! He's ascended into a different astral projected dimension! 
Now, some of those films weren't finalists, but you can check the full films out on the 48 Hours website. Right, we've made you wait long enough. It's time to reveal the top three. What's up for grabs again? Let me remind you. Third place gets $1,000. Second place gets $2,000. And for the winner, we have a $5,000 cash prize. Right, here we go, folks. The top three. The second runner-up is... Bust out the popcorn, crack the lid on that last bottle of rosé you've been hoarding throughout the entire lockdown. This is our first runner-up. Maybe it was something visible. Come on. It's just the wind, that's all. I'm going to the little boy. Right, folks, if you're on the edge of your seat, which I'm sure you are, hold on to the hand of the person next to you because I don't want you slipping off. Fill up that glass of kombucha. Here is your grand final winner. <laughs> I got snake arms, Papa. My bloody arms are snakes. Oh, it's a piece of, piece of equipment. Bloody hell, Papa. Put it back how it was. It's a bloody thing. I swear, technology hates me. Congratulations to the first ever champion of the Vista Foundation 48 Hours Lockdown Competition. Thank you to all the teams who participated and to all our sponsors who made the VF 48 Hours Lockdown possible. Now, if you want to see the other entries, head on over to 48hours.co.nz and check out our screening room. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.